up, guys? ¿Cómo están todos? Happy Tuesday. Mr. Castillo here, and in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to find the area of a circle when they only give us the circumference. Cuando solo nos dan el circunferencia, ¿cómo encontramos la área? Ok, para hacer eso, lo primero que quiero hacer es escribir unos pasos. The first thing we need to do is write down some steps, and if you're writing down notes with me, I strongly encourage everybody to do this. And if you're not, go get your notebook, pause the video and go get your notebook real quick. So the first step that we need to do is, el primer paso, tenemos que escribir nuestras formulas. We need to write down our formulas. Okay, so let's write down formulas. Write down formulas. Okay, so in order to write down our forms, we need to figure out what we're messing with. What are we dealing with here? Okay, so here we have circumference. So the circumference, if you guys remember from yesterday, the circumference is, sorry, the circumference is equal to diameter times pi. Circunferencia igual a diametro multiplicado por pi. Okay, and Remember, in this video, we're looking for the area. Queremos encontrar la área. So, area, si se enfocan en el PowerPoint de hoy, if you guys look at the PowerPoint from today, area is equal to pi r squared. Okay. So, now we have the formulas that we need. We need to solve for the area. Now we have, we are done with step number one. Okay. Número dos. Number two, for step number two, we need to find the radius, okay? So, find the radius so that we can plug it in right here, right? So, with what was given to us in the original pro problem, let me figure out my colors, let's use yellow. For the original, what they gave us was this, c equals 4 pi, and we know that this is actually the diameter right here. So since it's 4, our diameter is 4, let's look at it in a circle. Let me draw you guys a perfect circle. That, that's not a good circle. There. Alright, perfect. So. What it would look like is the diameter, if we remember, the diameter is the length across the circle, from one side to the other. That, so what they told us was that this was equal to 4. Let me write down 4. So el diametro igual a 4, porque aquí nos dice. Aquí nos dice. Okay? So now, we're going to use this information we know that the diameter is across, y el radio, the radius, is only half of that, la mitad. So what's half of four? Exactly, it's going to be two. So el radio, the radius, is equal to two. Perfect, so we wrote down our formulas, we found the radius. What's next is going to be... The next step is we're going to plug in radius, radius, into formula for area. Okay, an exclamation mark. We're going to plug in the radius into the formula for the area. So, R, R, was it this one? I think it was. R, no, it wasn't. Which blue did I use? Why was this one? R is going to equal to, y lo vamos a meter aquí en esta formula. So, let's go back to the A, is equal to pi. And then our radius is 2, our radio is 2, 
square true square so we plugged it in we plugged it into the formula of an area next the last step solve the swell okay now it's just now we're finally getting to the mathematics part of it so a the area, the area is going to be equal to pi. Right here it says that pi is equal to 3. So we're going to do 3. And then 2 squared. 2 squared. When we have a number squared, that means that we're going to multiply the number by itself 2 times. So 2 times 2 is going to be 4. That's a horrible 4. There we go. So now we have area is equal to 3 times 4. So then the area, 3 times 4, what is that going to be? It's going to be 12. Perfect. So now we found the area. We were able to solve for it. And we found the area of the circle when given the circumference of it right here. Okay. So use this same process that I did. Follow these steps right here to solve the next two problems on the next slide, okay?